we were steaming back. We'd gone as far south as we could on the National Geographic Endeavour, and we turned around at the Fish Islands, just above the Antarctic Circle, somewhere in the what they call a Grand Didier Channel. The animal was sighted in the late evening, January 15th. They all appear to be type B animals that are doing this particular behavior. It's a complex, coordinated hunting behavior that exists in animals that live together for a long time. What happens is the whales actually create a wave to try to dislodge the seal from the surface of the flow. It's been seen in other similar uh, type of hunting situations where animals are training the young of the pod to, uh, you know, initiating them into this hunting tactic. So these orca are type B orca and they're only found down here in Antarctica. They're grey and white instead of black and white and they specialise in hunting for seals. This group has really perfected the technique. They are cooperating and they are hunting in a coordinated fashion. This coordinated behaviour that we're watching is involving the whole group. Even the little one is getting involved. It's not actually in the hunt, but it's involved in the learning process. And now you can see a female and she's actually pushing against the ice flow and she's turning the ice around. Why she's doing that? It's probably to position the ice better so that when they create a wave, it'll hit the ice perfectly to wash the seal off. This group that we're watching right now have actually perfected a technique where they're creating a wave and that wave helps to wash the iceberg apart and also to allow the seal to get washed off the ice. After the animal went into the water, uh, we saw that it had been secured by one of the large females. It, it had it in her mouth. There it's it is, he's got it. Oh, in the mouth. He's in got it mouth. in his mouth, yep. Yep, he's got it. It's not over yet, guys. That seal is still alive, probably. This could be another two hours of playing with that seal. Five other accounts that I have are interesting. In two of those, we have the indication that the seal was either released or it escaped. And in one case, there was one seal that was dumped into the water five times without it actually ever being killed. The animals seem to be actually just practicing. There's the seal. The animals proceeded to do the same thing, a lot of spy hopping around it over the next 15 minutes or so, and then created again the same kind of concerted uh, attack that went directly under the flow, washed the animal off into the water. It's amazing to see this. In many, many years of observations, this has only been seen a few times and filmed even less.